crossing a ripple passage uh, on the way to uh, the mainland. It's coming from an awesome direction. I couldn't ask for better. I'm on a broad reach going between three and three and a half knots. So it's very relaxing, just kind of out here cruising along the ocean swells. So it's really pretty. I'm enjoying this. Rapids, hopefully tonight, and um, uh, go back into Cougar Inlet. Uh, I think the tide is, is going to be perfect. So I'm going upwards of seven knots under motor power. That's the fastest uh, this boat's gone under, just motor. And it's because I got the tide working in my favor. And uh, that's why I'm able to make this little uh, two and a half horsepower motor push my sailboat down here going oh over 7.2 knots Woo. yeah that's flying so I'm going over uh, 8 knots a minute ago I was going 8.5 knots and uh, there's whirlpools out here so I've turned the engine way down just because it was scaring me to go that fast uh, there's so many hidden rocks and stuff I wouldn't want to nail my boat in that channel right there there's some nastiness out here I can keep an eye out for. Yeah, 8.7 knots. 8.7. And that's with the engine torque way down. So, I mean, at least a, a five knot current here. More than that, it has to be like a six knot current, at least. Yikes. Knock walk to rapid straight ahead. Look at these currents, holy shit. It's knocking my boat around like a ping pong ball. That's that's uh, that's the entrance right there in the Seymour Inlet. I'm not gonna do it though. This is uh, scary enough for me. I'm gonna go into Cougar Inlet, which I think is right there. Cougar Inlet, it gets really narrow up here. Uh, it's supposedly only like about 20 feet wide or something like that. My face is still on fire from uh, dealing with uh, what I just went through. Uh, I, there was giant whirlpools that literally formed under my boat. This is not to be toyed with. So this looks beautiful. I'm looking forward to, to uh, this uh, sanctuary of calmness way way back into uh, Cougar Inlet. I'm hoping to get clear to the back of it. It goes, goes back quite a long ways. So uh, it, it keeps uh, a lot of the big boats out because it's so narrow. And there's a 20 foot wide opening. They weren't kidding. They were not kidding at all. Wow. After a very long day, I have reached my anchoring point. This is the, actually the, probably the furthest point of my whole trip. And I'm at the very end of Cougar Inlet. That's the end right there. Yeah. 